going on guys? Your boy X here. Today we're doing that two, seven Deadly Sin Season 4 Episode 2 live reaction. Um, I saw a lot of people, man. A lot of people already was like... <laughs> a lot of people already kind of like, I guess you would say, upset with Episode 1. Just, you know, from the animation, blah, blah, blah. I didn't really see a problem with Episode 1. I mean, it looked alright. It wasn't like amazing right but it looked all right i've seen worse so i don't know but uh last we left off uh, you know bond he ended up finding uh meliotis's uh i guess you would say feelings right or whatever very emotional scene at the end i was like oh <laughs> right um whereas i think with everybody else you had um uh, escanor uh merlin and um uh, Lucille, he, uh, they were fighting, you know, the, um, they were fighting, um, uh, Zeldris and the other two, uh, I forgot what their names are, but yeah, so, that's pretty much where we are with last episode, um, they don't, they don't show previews, right, so, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what's gonna happen this episode, but we're gonna find out right now, so let's go get started, um, remember though, guys, for more 7 Deadly Sins live reactions slash reviews, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for you to the channel, still trying to get to that 30k before the end of January, uh, I still think we can do it. What are we at? 120? <laughs> I still think we can do it. So, hey, if you're new here or you've been here often, hit that subscribe button if you haven't checked. Go ahead. We get All right. About to begin this, guys, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's get it. <clears throat> People said I had already given up. Dang. See, he called it hell, too. So, I guess... Hell and Purgatory are about the same thing. I, I mean, I know it's different and like, uh, I guess every story is different, but you know. Oh, it's not, you know, like Purgatory is like in between heaven and hell. So did they just jump in lava or something? Wait, who is that? The hell? <laughs> <laughs> that was abrupt. I guess the version I'm watching just, um, no, um, no intro, which is good because I always cut it out. I always edit it out anyway, but I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Caught me off guard. Turns to dust. Hmm. Born here. We're going to use it to create clothes. What? God damn! This fool is on some Sonic the Hedgehog level of shit. Wow. Enormous power. Something like his soul. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, that, that actually kind of reminds me of that season of uh, Supernatural. When, if y'all watch Supernatural, like, you know, it's like Sam's body was on Earth, but his soul was trapped in hell. Oh, ironic. The same thing here. But, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Man, they are really trying, huh? <laughs> so okay. oh, wow. yeah. 
Oh wow, it finally moves so fast. I'm just curious what these clothes are gonna look like, cause uh... Oh god, I got the skeleton in the background! <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh well. I'm transformed. Oh, it's fine. Uh oh, the boy getting the shave on. Oh boy, got them clean clothes. Hey, look at the boy. I swear, Seven Ellie sins with these clothes, man. They got the, they got the, they got the, the, the sauce, the drip, the. Come on, man. You got giant grasshoppers. With... That's the one thing I gotta give this anime, cause not a lot of anime, they, they always wear the same damn clothes every day, right? So here, at least, <coughs> I feel like Seven Days says quite a bit they change their outfit up. So I, I got, I got hats off to them on that. <laughs> so all oh, that shit didn't work. Killed it in one shot. Jesus, these subs. Oh my god, what the? At least we got Bond. Damn, if we didn't have Bond right now, it would be horrible. What did he even do? He just whooshed his hand? What do they taste like? <laughs> it's strange that you always succeed. Mm. It says body and mind one to go. What is, I mean, it'll be, is he gonna get stronger? I, I mean, that would make sense. Whatever happened to that damn pig hawk thing at the beginning? That was watching him?
Oh, okay, there you go. I'm about to sit in there with the... Will look like he's about to eat them. <laughs> what kind of hopping off was that? Wow. <laughs> you talk about the big guy. As he comes out the shadows. Wild. But his last name, my name was Wild. Mild. Hmm. hmm. So I wonder if this is Hawks. Look at this little Even sounds like this fool. Mm mm mm. Hmm, okay, okay. <laughs> wow, I mean, that actually looks like a nice little spot. If you're in hell, right? You're like, hey, I got my, night, got my own crib here, son. <laughs> That's an ornament. damn doggy bowl of work. <laughs> it tastes like purgatory. <laughs> wow, so well mannered. Look at that. Yeah, that's that's hot. <laughs> it's just like this guy's hair like, all right, let me take this for real quick. The calculations are perfect. to say that but that's so strange that he just chose like a random creature in hell like hmm oh oh there you go come here <laughs> well he's asking that question too I want to use animals to watch over me mm -hmm. I guess that makes sense
Wait, he resists Hendrickson's attack? I thought Elizabeth brought him back to life. Huh, that's interesting. Um, okay, I mean, I, I guess. That is kind of new information to me. I, I Like I said, I always thought Elizabeth brought uh, Hawk back to life. One of uh one of Seven Deadly Sins' greatest moments right there, man. That was like a Hawk. I was like, Hawk's moment right there. Never forget that moment. <laughs> Where do you find one? Yeah, a different path. Hmm. I wonder what that made him think about. Maybe Brother Zeldris and uh, <laughs> Esterosa. Oh wow, we just went back to this part. Okay. Come on, Zelda, just quit playing with them, man. I want to see what this man can do. Oh, that's where them two are. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you the true magic of Zelda. So, what are you about to do? What are you about to do? I can feel it. Come on. That's going to be chopping people up, man. No, please just not talk about nonsense. Oh, show me that power, please. Oh, this nebula. Hmm. What the hell? <laughs> That's good. Hmm. <laughs> Kill that are probably like, I was just in the background, man. I didn't even want to get in the fight. Oh, Lord. Wow, what kind of ability is this? Is it just they just gonna keep getting sucked back? Dang, that boy said, you know, I got the leg day going on. <laughs> I gotta keep teleporting back. Well, damn! He's like, come on back! <laughs> oh, man! Oh, how lucky. I'm not on your back for fun. Three parts. With great power? Is that not worried? What? what? Oh, physical or magic attack. I was about to say, magic attack, that's, that's going to already be all right. No. And my words are God words. I do not care. <laughs> With pleasure. 
Only from Merlin. Merlin is an exception. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Wow. They're kind of stuck with Zeldris right now. Oh, God. my video <laughs> um where do I want to begin I mean relatively this was a very very simple for a majority it was really just Bond and Meliodas we got a little bit with Zeldris towards the end right there but really it was like Bond and uh, Meliodas episode um we they, they basically are all they're, they're playing monster hunter basically they're going around killing what demon creatures or what you know the creatures of uh, purgatory and they're like making clothes this is monster hunter this is and they got some, the, the meat eating the meat whatever um we find out though like i said last episode basically uh this is melanor's feelings which technically his soul if you want to get technical with it um and by his soul being there, he doesn't have his power. So right now he's like weak. Like he really, like he can fight regularly, but he doesn't have his strength that he usually has. So uh, currently they're kind of relying on Bond at the for the most part. Like Bond is over here whooping ass. Um, now M Melios did say something interesting uh, toward like later on in the episode where he was like, you know, you're like one of the first humans. Well, you are the first human to survive purgatory or be here this long or whatever, and not go crazy. And then. You know, obviously Bond's like, yeah, I'm immortal, whatever. But Meliodas says once they escape, he's gonna be different when he returns, like mentally and I think he said mentally and physically. So I'm curious what he means by that. Like, does that mean like uh, Bond is gonna get like a power boost, which I hope? Cause I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, he's immortal, so he can't die, you know? So I'm like, eh, okay, Bond's good. But he doesn't like, he's still a human at the end of the day. So his strength doesn't, really compare it all to like the people they're fighting right now like yeah he can use like fox hunting uh which i think like what takes their power and gives it to him so that, i mean that's really the only thing bond can do but in terms of like res regular raw power bond he's like the weakest member of the seven deadly sins right uh but you know uh, he he gets the job done you know i want to know <laughs> I wanna, you know i ain't want to say that but yeah he gets the job done so i hope he does like a power boost when they return um while they're down there, they do end up running into um, a, a, a pig named Wild, which um, he's, he's been looking for his brother named uh, Mild, which we find out this episode, Mild is Hawk. Uh, apparently, the Demon King stole, <laughs> kidnapped, kidnapped uh, Hawk when he was little and you know um made hawk like his eyes in on, on earth basically for meliodas like to watch over meliodas and everything they also said something very interesting or at least bond said something like because uh he was like oh that explains everything that explains like you know like uh he, he took uh that hit from hendrickson or whatever and i'm like what because you know back then in season one I thought Elizabeth brought him back to life, like basically, you know, the tears or whatever, drip, drop, drip, drop, and you know, he turned and like from the ashes, he was like Little Hawk for a little while, right? I thought that's what happened, but apparently from what Bond just said this episode, because he was a creature from Purgatory, that was the reason why he was able to uh, withstand Hendrickson's attack. And don't get me wrong, I mean, that makes sense theoretically, right? Um, Because I don't know if his species like the i don't know if the, his species of, of creature right i don't know if that would be stronger than a a, a gray demon right so i don't know about that that's why i'm like a little iffy about that but regardless you know they kind of kick it they kick it with wild for a little bit and you know wild's like hey i know where the uh, the demon king is let's go let's go to him and then we'll escape or whatever so that's where they are at the end of the episode for them now with the little bit we got with uh zeldris so zeldris he ends up using was it omni om ominous nebula or whatever which basically uh for all intents and purposes almost like as if his body is like a black hole um i know they kind of 
explain it as like an attraction, I guess you could say like a positive and negative, but like, you know, he basically pulls in, and now in the episode, there could be like the, um, the sub errors or whatever that I'm watching, but they say like he pulls in strong, uh, strong things, so I don't know if you're weak, maybe his ability doesn't work on you, but basically sucking everybody in, and then like an invisible attack hits you and you fly back, and it's just like a constant like, uh, tug of war right here, like you come in, you get hit, you go back, you come in, you get hit, you go back. Like, so, right now, and then, also, like, water, I guess, like, while they're like going toward him, they can't, like, he can't be hit by physical or magic attacks. So, that's, yeah, like, basically, like, they can't do anything right now. Like, the only thing they're doing, like, you had Escanor, he had to, like, bump his legs up, so he's, like, stuck in place. Uh, Merlin keeps like flying in, but teleporting back, flying in, teleporting back, and you got Ludus who's like, oh, 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 <laughs> like getting his ass a little, but then he grabs on the um, Escanor, and you know, at first Escanor was like, yeah, I, I don't really care, I'm about to like let you go, but Merlin was like, all right, help him, or uh, whatever, so. Thanks to Merlin, you know, he's like, cause this was like, I don't take, I don't take orders from anybody. And then it's like, oh, it's like, oh, hey, you, what? you just say you don't take orders, she is an exception. So that, that was funny. But, um, that's pretty much where we are with Zeldris and them. So, um, I'm guessing next episode, I have to guess here, cause you know, how this, <laughs> how this version of the episode I watched, um, I'm guessing next episode we'll probably get, cause like if I'm going by the opening, which I feel like in anime nine times out of ten, usually the opening they kind of like hint at something to happen in the future, right? Sometimes it all depends, right? Um, so if I'm going by the opening, I'm guessing maybe Bond and Meliodas are about to fight the Demon King, and uh, I don't, I don't know how they're gonna stop Zeldris to be honest. Um, Maybe Escanor can. It's, it's gonna have to be Escanor, most likely. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe 12 o'clock hit. I have no idea. The one something. Something's gotta give. Because right now, they're just trapped. They're like, just trying not to get sucked. So, <laughs> pause. But <laughs> that's all, guys. Um, but yeah. Remember, guys, for more Seven Deadly Sins live reaction slash reviews. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. Still trying to get to that 30k before the end of January, so help your boy out. Hit the bell to get notified when I drop my videos as well. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, my Facebook game page, and the Discord. All of them in the description box below. If you like the video, guys, like the video. Comment, let us know what your favorite part of the episode was. And as always, guys, it's been your boy X, and I'm out. Deuces.